वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सिविल लाइफ माय सेल्फ मिलन पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टुडेस टॉपिक इज एडवांसमेंट्स इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग दिस इज द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ दिस टॉपिक इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर लेक्चर नंबर 1 वी हैव डिस्कस थ्री टॉपिक्स स्मार्ट सिटी एंड इट्स फीचर्स ग्रीन बिल्डिंग एंड एनर्जी एफिशिएंट बिल्डिंग इन टुडेस लेक्चर वी विल कवर फर्स्ट मास ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम सेकंड बीआरटीएस एंड लास्टली वी विल कवर मेट्रो ओके सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स बिगिन विद मास ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम दिस डील्स विद स्टडी ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन सिस्टम दैट मीट्स द ट्रैवल नीड ऑफ सेवरल पीपल बाय शेयरिंग अ व्हीकल ओके देयर आर वेरियस मोड्स ऑफ transportation system first is traveling by bus okay in which fares are cheap buses can get very crowded during peak hours and this is not be the fastest mode of transport bus passes are also available in particular cities there is separate seating for women at the front of the bus the services of the bus are mostly done by municipal corporation air condition volvo buses are be introduced in many cities in india okay second mode of transportation is traveling by taxi mumbai delhi kolkata have old fashion black yellow or black and yellow taxi okay which run on a meter and can be flagged down in the street okay according to government of india regulation all taxis are required to have fare meter installed okay there are additional surcharges for luggage late night rides and toll taxes are to be paid by passengers these are mainly private taxis companies in every city running out of roadside offices okay third is traveling by auto rickshaw an auto rickshaw is a three wheeler vehicle for hire that has no doors and is generally characterized by a small cabin for the driver in the front of the seat and at the back for passengers okay the color of auto rickshaw is also determined by the fuel that is powered by okay for example in ahmedabad and delhi they have green color okay because they are run by cng okay in mumbai bangalore they have green or black autos indicating the use of lpg okay auto rickshaws are usually cheap option good for short local journeys but uncomfortable for longer trips okay fourth mode of mass transport system is brts and fifth is metro okay so let's discuss brts now okay the full form of brts is bus rapid transit system okay in which we will discuss concept of brts aim and objective of brts various advantages and disadvantages of brts various types of brts and various running brts in india okay first discuss concept of brts bus rapid transit is a term applied to a variety of public transport systems using buses to provide faster more efficient service than an ordinary bus line okay bus rapid transit is the name given to sophisticated bus systems that have their own lanes on city roads okay it ensures fast reliable secure and high capacity services new initiatives like brt system and air conditioned buses have been taken by various state government to improve this brts system in city okay now let's discuss various aims and objectives of brts so aim of brts is to approach the service quality of rail transit while still enjoying the cost saving and flexibility of bus transit okay the objective of this brts is done by considering the factors such as travel demand is of implementation potential of the route as an independent route these are the factors which are to be considered in brts okay 
Now let's discuss the characteristics of DRTS. It has dual propulsion vehicle with motor powered by batteries and diesel. It can solve various kinds of physical surroundings and can be incrementally implemented in a variety of environments. Okay. These are the characteristics of DRTS. Now let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of DRTS. Okay. The advantages of DRTS is it is it gives great flexibility in route option development. Okay. It has substantially lower capital cost. Okay. It has faster development. Okay. Rolling stock can solve multiple roles in PRTS. Okay. Feasibility of incremental capital investment is more in PRTS. These are the advantages of PRTS. Now let's discuss the disadvantages like lack of availability of dedicated land capacity in urban areas. This is the main disadvantage of BRTS. Allocation of existing lanes to BRT may worsen traffic congestion okay, in various corridors of the city. Poor capacity to meet very high peak hour demand due to limited bus carrying capacity. Okay. Reduce capacity to stimulate marketplace and development sector. Okay. These are the disadvantages of BRTS. Now, let's discuss various types of DRTS. First type is curb guided bus weight or KGB type of DRTS. This type of buses are steered for part or all of their route by external means, usually on a dedicated track. Guidance systems can be either physical such as curbs or remote such as optional or radio guidance. Okay? The trackway allows for high speed operation on a narrow guideway as well as precise positioning at body platforms. Okay, this is the curb guided busway. Second type of BRTS is dedicated lane with open system. Okay, in which various local municipal buses can also be driven in dedicated lane of BRTS. Okay. This type of system is mainly used where road width is very less in market corridors where there is a more traffic in that. Okay. Third type of BRTS is dedicated land with closed system. Busways or BRTS are system that emphasize priority for rapid movement of buses. They are extensively developed in a number of Latin America cities including cities in Brazil, Colombia and Ecuador. Okay, it is one type of closed system. Okay, in which only BRTS is run, not the local buses are in driving. Okay, that's all about the types of BRTS. Okay, now let's discuss various BRTS in India. These are the various undergoing construction of BRTS system in India. Okay, like Ubi Darwa BRTS, Kolkata BRTS, Ludhiana BRTS. Mumbai BRDS, etc. These are the various BRDS which are in planning phase like Chennai BRDS, Coimbatore BRDS, Hyderabad BRDS, Madurai BRDS, Tirujirapalli BRDS. Okay. These are the various BRDS which are in planning phase. There are also many projects which are in working in India like Ahmedabad BRDS. Okay. That's all about BRDS in India. Okay. That's all about PRTS system. Now let's discuss the third topic in today's lecture, which is Metro. In Metro, we will discuss first introduction of Metro, characteristics of Metro, and advantages and disadvantages of Metro. First, we will discuss introduction of Metro. The first modern rapid transit in India is the Kolkata Metro and it is started its operation in 1984 okay the delhi metro in new delhi is the second conventional metro began operation in 2002 the namba metro in bangalore is india's third operational rapid transit and began operation in 2011 okay currently rapid transit systems have been deployed in these cities and more are under construction or in planning stage in several major cities of India. Okay, the cities which have metro system 
in India are Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Jaipur, Kochi, and Gurgaon. Okay, these are the cities which have metro system. Okay, in India, these are the various cities which have under construction metro system like Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, Ahmedabad, etc. Okay, that's all about the introduction of metro. Now let's see the characteristics of metro. This metro are usually adopted in high density corridors of densely urbanized region. Okay, it uses trains of high performance and electrically powered rail cars. Okay, metros are required fully separated right of way with manual signal or automatic control. They require high platform stations. Okay, no grade crossings are provided. Okay. This is all about the characteristics of metro. Now, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of metro. The first advantage of metro is it has very high capacity of passengers, usually around 20,000 to 1 lakh pph. pph means passengers per hour per day direction. Okay. Second is it has high operational speed, like around 25 to 60 kmph. Okay. Third, it is free from interference from other traffic. Okay, and the last is low level of air pollution in the metro. Okay, these are the advantages of metro. Now let's discuss the disadvantages of metro. It has very high initial cost. It's the main disadvantage of metro. It has lengthy construction period. Okay, it requires separate stations and efficient signaling system. Okay. It also requires automatic closing or opening of doors. Okay, it requires fast fare collection facilities and high platforms. Okay, and it creates more noise while driving. Okay, so it creates noise pollution. Okay, these are the six disadvantages of metro. Okay, that's all about metro. I hope. You all understand various mass transportation system like by bus, by taxi, by auto rickshaw, by BRTS, by metro, etc. Okay. See you soon in the next lecture. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Civil Life. Thank you.